Hey, this is Blair from Mystic City, and today we're going to look at Evernote for the Apple Watch. So while the app has a couple of nifty side features, there's really two main things you can do with the watch. Take a note or search for a note. Um, so this is the main screen. Um, as you can see, I've got some recently viewed, I've got the recently updated, and my due today, which is set to a reminder. So we're going to go ahead and dictate a note now. Hey, I'm saving it out to Evernote. Okay, sort of got what I was saying, but you get the point. So you've got two options here. One, you can save it, or if you want to set it as a reminder for later, you can set it up so that it reminds you tomorrow. Now, it does this with a stock uh, time, so it's very basic. Um, can't really change the settings or anything, but let's just say we want to set that to a reminder and we want to click save. And here you go. You'll see the actual note itself with the text. And so once you see that note show up on the watch, you should be able to pull it up on your phone as well by clicking the Evernote icon in the lower left corner. And that should pop up. And there it is. So you can click on it. And there's your text. So another useful function of the app is the ability to receive notifications. So if I set up a reminder item, I can get reminders sent to either the phone or any of my other devices, but I can also get it sent to the watch, which is a cool feature. So we're going to go ahead and um, we've already got that set up and uh, we're going to just wait for it to show up. And so here it is. I got my notification right here. Hey, I'm sending out Evernote. So I can click on that. And here I've got a couple of options to decide what I want to do with it. I could snooze on it and have it remind me again in 10 minutes. Uh, I can mark it as done, I can view it, or I can dismiss it. Um, so I'm going to mark this as done so it doesn't bother me again. And there you go. Another cool feature to note is that those checklists that we were talking about earlier, they can actually be checked off one by one. So if I go to one of these grocery lists, I can see I've got my to-do and I've got my list of things to do. So I can, while I'm shopping, I can go in and check 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 as I complete each of these things and um, it's just another useful thing to have um, and obviously it'll show up on the app as well on the phone and elsewhere and that's Evernote for the Apple Watch be sure to check out the rest of our tutorials and app reviews on our YouTube channel or visit bristechcity.com for the latest Apple Watch news see you next time